Hi guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury channel and a, uh, a very quick wrap up, a very quick wrap up around the, the country in Australia and uh, looking at the world there. It seems the watch market is very, very tough indeed. A uh, good friend of mine recently went to Melbourne, Melbourne, Australia, and uh, he bought a, I think it was a year old Breguet Type 20 box papers it was missing the cushion but he got it for just under six thousand Aussie dollars what's that four and a bit US absolutely good buying uh, it still had a smidgen of new warranty I think I had a year's left of new warranty on the watch really cool buying and I think this just shows you that if you the market is flat there are bargain hunters out there. It's not a good time to sell. It is a very good time to buy. <laughs> there are bargains there. Rolex is king. This is what I've always said. Steel Sports Rolex is the way to go. They are very much holding their own. Very, very good. Um, I think the absolute bargain to buy now would be the Deep Sea. That's sort of a little bit soft. And uh, the rumors are that Rolex, this is... This is a uh, Rolex employee. This is this is where this source of information came from. Rolex has stopped making the deep sea. <coughs> they're no longer producing the deep sea. Uh, they're still making the James Cameron. Once stock of the James Cameron runs out, they will cease the big deep sea. Uh, so it's it's going to soar once that becomes official and it filters through. That watch will soar. They're soft at the moment. They will they will climb like it. They will climb like an eagle. That was the biggest, largest, nastiest Rolex ever made. There's going to be a great demand for that watch in the future. Uh, at the moment, around uh, the market, there, if you price your products really, really cheap, they will sell. Bargain hunters are out there, which it's not a good time to sell nothing at the moment. Hold back. Hold back. Things can only improve. I mean, we got the Trumpster in the White House. We got the Trumpster. Make America great again. Uh, made in China. Thank you. Thank you, Trumpster. Thank you, Trumpster. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I think that's the, uh, that is the important thing here. Uh, make America great again. Things will be getting better very very soon so um all i can say is hey guys hey guys bargains out there if you're gonna if you need to sell not a good time at the moment i'm archie luxury let's go and take a look at some bargains hello archie luxury and let's take a look at the wrap-up of the australian wristwatch market so i've picked a few dealers we're going to take a look and see what bargains i can see there and the first piece I want to report on is a Breguet Type 20. I had a good fan of the channel who rang me whilst he was in Melbourne recently and he picked up a wonderful Breguet. A Breguet Type 20 Erin Vale. That's the no date model. It was on the leather strap, which the leather strap is, uh, is it's very nice. It does come on a bracelet, an optional extra bracelet there is a model with a bracelet and there is a model with a leather strap i prefer the bracelet but hey beggars can't be choosers this piece here was in like new condition and it had only had a couple months of use but in absolutely perfect condition came with the new as you'd expect because it's only so new new breguet box missing the inner cushion but at this price here beggars can't be choosers this is a very interesting watch. It was uh, sold new 2016, and it still had some warranty left on it. Uh, this piece here, it sold for, would you believe this? It sold for just under 6,000 Aussie dollars. That's right, just under 6,000 Aussie dollars. The interesting thing was they also had another version of this very same watch which was actually brand spankers brand spankers and uh in very just slightly better condition i'll just call it up this piece here 
absolutely perfect pristine condition and it had the little cushion for the watch a thousand dollars more at uh, just under 7,000 Aussie. This is an unworn example of this magnificent watch. And uh, I don't know what to say. It's really is a bargain. And if you price the, I think these both these watches were priced kind of cheap. So, you know, this is the whole thing there. There are some really good bargains around if you look around. And uh, I got to tell you, it's just a matter of taking a look and uh, seeing. Breguet is a soft brand. Yes, it is. It is soft. But I got to be honest with you. If you are prepared to put the time in, you will find bargains and they will sell. Both these watches sold within a week. So there you go. A wrap up of the Australian watch market. Tell me what you guys think of that.